Welcome to the Daily Dose with Robert Cochran, PhD, and Susan Scarlett, avid first follower of uh, both Yaks and also this thing called Day One. And, and to be uh, clear, Day One is, is within Yaks, right? So yeah. yes, it's a, it's under the umbrella of Yaks. It's a it's a, a very particular thing, which is a, a journey that we all go on together individually, but with the group. Um, each of our stories are different. We never know quite what's going to happen. But it's so your story in the framework of that's right Joseph Campbell's yeah. understanding of mythology and life. <laughs> right. And all of our relationship to it. Again, it, I think we go with some assumptions here that we're hardwired for story. And story matters because, uh, you know, from our earliest times of, of recognition as a species, the cave dwellers, they did it to mark the hunt, to say what's safe, what's not, where, where are the good hunting places, where is there danger, all these things, that, that these stories, they define reality. So it's the same way we think of play. Play, yes, has the enjoyment benefit to it, and it also has a very baseline survivalist uh, component to it as well. So story now is mostly known for entertainment. That doesn't mean it's not still primarily how we process things, how we think about things, how we organize things. We're constantly structuring story. Go ahead. I think it's more fun. I think it's more interesting. Is it easier for me to dive into a learning situation when it feels like a story than it feels like a lecture, you know, or That's something? Right you know, academic classroom kind of thing. If it's just rote information, right? If it's like, yes. it could be in a book, why is this person just saying it out loud? Mm -hmm. Those are some of my least favorite presentations and those who don't know how to read a story or engage an audience um, could stand up there and know everything and be like, why don't you understand like I do? Because I'm not you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you think about the first, I really want to say step two and step three of the hero's journey. It's just almost irresistible. The call to adventure. Holy cow. What does that well, mean? And I don't want to dive too much into the story to interrupt because they've got those and other things. We want to, people who want to engage right now. Why would they want to engage? They can get that, by the way. We step by step and all later in parts of it. But tell me, why would they want to engage right now? If it involves those steps, cool. I just didn't want to get too far off on a tangent about any one of them. I think... The common denominator here is something related to Parkinson's. You're either a caregiver or you have Parkinson's or you have an essential tremor or you have something that makes, in this case, that makes you feel like your body is a prison. Holy cow, I, I spoke to a, one thir a woman 30 minutes ago who said that. Muhammad Ali said that. When I heard that, <laughs> Robert, it's intimidating. It's scary to think about that. And it fired me up. It was like, okay, there's a lot of truth to get to in that. And so I'm speaking as if I am everybody. If your question was, why do people want to do this? Well, no, no, it's great. I, I think you touched on it because I think you touched on a universal truth. And look, at, we know truth is sometimes hard to face, especially in, in the truth of something like, like a scary illness about the when, the how, like we mentioned, right? So if this journey and this group help people come to a reality to face a truth that is quite scary and therefore being pushed to the back, we can live better. I mean, that's about as practical of an answer as I can give you, right? We're going to get a scary truth together. Be self important reasons. Yeah. We can swing the door open, right? <laughs> yes, we are. I always get this mixed up. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. The whole of the troop of us, the ensemble, the group of people who are in this, committed to this together which will be in this particular case, at least eight people and no more than 16, right? Is what we're- Yeah, 16 is our cap. So if you're out there thinking about it, let us know soon because we want to get this iteration off the ground. And, and again, you know, from a time standpoint, we're running up against time right now. There's a re reason to do this now and, and a reason to not say, oh, well, we'll get to it when we get to it. And we'll get to that in the next- <laughs> 